Good morning. I'm sorry I always look ratchet as fuck in the morning. I've just decided that I'm gonna go to Kitchener. Um, I haven't been there since I was like really little, so like I don't remember it at all. And uh, I'm just gonna go like have a look around, see if they got the um, Special Force um, mid that's out today, the Black Hazel. They don't have it in London for sure. Um, they said on the site that they had it. Look how old I look. <laughs> Fuck. So let's hit the road. If I ever make you cry. Yeah. 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 Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a small decaf double double, please? A small decaf double double? Yes, please. Thanks, right, that'll be a dollar sixty. Anything else? That's everything, thanks. Alright, bye bye. Thank you. We have mans in front of me. Ooh, this swear net plate. <laughs> Got my coffee. Uh, I'm in Woodstock right now. It's just like a stop on the side of the road. Um, not too much longer, maybe like another 20 minutes. Oh yeah, this is just a bear from my desk at work. Um, yep, on the way. I guess this is the mall or the food locker side. Kinda, uh, we're somewhere in Kitchener anyway. Got him. So the story with these is that you have to go up. You have to go up a size, which is bizarre. So the retail is 215 Canadian plus tax. You can see the SF AF1 mid black dark hazel so these are the ones that just came out today so normally I wear a size 9 in um, Air Force ones but I literally had to go up to a 10 now that is why I drove to Kitchener because I really wanted to try them on hold, hold up it's really hot I need to open the windows it's gonna be noisier because of traffic but I can't take the heat um, yeah so I needed to try these on and these came out today um, and I, I really wanted a little bit of wiggle room, especially given that I'm going to be wearing these in the winter time and uh, want to be able to have, wear like normal socks in them. You can see all these loud as fuck cars like right near me. But uh, these are super sick. Like I love the black tumbled leather, the brown kind of, I'm not going to call this gum because it's kind of brown, but the olive, not olive, what are they calling it? Like hazelnut or something? Uh, bottom. Urban utility. I love that. And then you have the zipper on the back and then the buckle buckle type strap thing. These look sick. I really like the white ones also. And in fact, I love um, the high ones, not just the mids, but the highs sold out real quick, whereas the mids are like readily available. Um, the first one, the black tiger camo ones, they sold out. I really wanted those, but they're gone. Um, and I'm probably not gonna get the white ones just because I wanna wear these in fall, winter, and white will get destroyed. But uh, yeah, the quality on these seems pretty nice. I mean, the leather anyway. I can't speak for the canvas part at the back. I do know uh, someone who has a pair, I think, I'm not sure if they're the mids or the highs, but they have kind of like ripped already and he's not really hard on them. So that's a little bit kind of interesting in a bad way. I'll see how these um, fare out over time, but I love wearing Air Force Ones in the winter time. Especially in, in Canada, <clears throat> in Ontario, where we get a lot of snow and ice and stuff like that. They're just real kind of bulky, meaty shoes that can hack the weather. Um, I'm still going to look after them, you know, but like between my flax highs, these, and my Presto utility uh, mids, I should be good for winter. So yeah, I think that's it for these shoes now, but um, I might throw them on feet or something. But uh, I'm going to just check out... Kitchener and then go back home because today's my only day off. I back and work tomorrow morning at 10. But yeah, dope. So on my way out of town, I saw this uh, Nike factory store. I didn't know it was here, so I'm gonna go in real quick. Okay, I really need to leave town before I go broke, man. I just came up in the Nike store though. This is unbelievable. I thought this was kind of like a myth or Toronto only. Um, Got the uh, blue, blue, whatever. Be true, flyknit racers. 
Um, I didn't actually pay that. They were 169 or something. Hold up, let me get the receipt out. Okay, so Flynet Racer be true. 135 plus tax. Like that's unbelievable given that 215 was the retail. These like there was something weird about this release because I really wanted these on release day. Obviously they sold out online, but then for whatever reason, the rest of the pairs went to outlets. Um, obviously I don't have any outlets near me, but I thought that was really weird. Like why did that happen? Um, I thought it was just Toronto only and it was a couple of months ago. So when I saw these in there and I was like, are you kidding me? And the funny thing was, is they didn't have these in the men's side, they had them in the women's side. I always go over to the women's section just because sometimes they can have really big women's shoes there. And uh, obviously nine and a half men, 11 in women's. Man, what a come up. I, I'm so glad to have these. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna buy any more Flynet Racers. This is really the um, only pair that I wanted that was left. So I have these, the Red Roosters and the, um, the blue ones because I sold my Oreo ones given that I wanted these. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, Flynet um, Racers that I have. I did want to pick up the white Flynet Trainer yesterday. However, they sold out on Nike.com uh, Canada. So I'm gonna wait and see till the boutiques get those at the end of August, I think, and I'll try and cop those. But wow, what a come up. I need to go home, man. I'm gonna go broke up here. <laughs> home in St. Thomas now. Um, I did put these on and wear them out grocery shopping. Uh, pretty sweet. Liking them a lot. Um, not going to be much more to this vid today because this is probably long enough already. But I will probably do a vid on these and the uh, Air Force SF1 mid things at a certain... Whatever. I'll, I'll do a vid on uh, both kicks soon. But yeah, that's all for the moment. Thanks a million guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the next vid.